Hi everyone, Lacey here. I am your Auburn Anytime Fitness Trainer. Um, I'm looking forward to today's workout. First of all, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. Um, the workout we are going to be doing today is going to be uh, one circuit that we're gonna be performing and it's gonna be 35 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. And we're gonna keep doing that until our timer goes off. So what's nice about this is, yes, it's gonna be all body weight. However, if you do have weights at home, I do recommend you incorporating them. Um, why not build more lean muscle while we're at it? However, all the exercises that I will be doing, there will not be any weights. Um, with that being said, also some of the moves might be too complicated. Maybe um, you have harder time getting down on the floor. If that's an issue, no problem. I will go ahead and show you the um, regression for that and I'll make it a little bit easier for you to be able to do at home by yourself. So as you can see, I am coming here live to you from my garage. Um, I did get dressed today, just kind of barely. I'm sure like y'all at home, hopefully you guys are in your jammies though. I have to at least look somewhat composed. <laughs> So anyways, about today, you may need a chair. Like I was saying, if you were having a hard time getting on the ground, a chair would definitely be beneficial to you and I will demonstrate how to do that for you. Um, at the top of this introduction video, I wrote down the exercises we will be, to be doing today. And again, like I said, I will show you the regression of that. And also, you may need a towel. There's gonna be a movement here where if we wanna make it a little more difficult, um, I will demonstrate how we will do so. So for that, you may need a towel. So go ahead and get some items that you may need before we begin. Um, also, just some things for you at home. I would definitely recommend um, putting on some light background music. You know, just get your, get your radio on, turn it on low, so at least you're not just hearing yourself breathe, right? That's what I have going on, you probably can't hear it. I turned it on low just for myself so I can uh, get through my workout fluently, okay? All right. So how this is going to work is we have, like I said, seven exercises we are going to go through. The workout in total is going to be about 24 minutes long. Um, what else? I'm going to go ahead and demo this for you. And then from there, we're going to go right into our warm up and begin our workout. So don't worry about the time for you guys. I will handle that all on my end. So you guys just kick back, get some work in and enjoy the workout. Okay. All right. So the first exercise we will be doing is skaters, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our nice and low body positioning, athletic position, right? I'm ready, my knees are bent, my core is engaged. I'm gonna step like so. This is just gonna get our, our heart rate up really high, okay? That's what I want you to do. If we wanna make it a little harder, really make that explosive, right? Really jump into that and really get that heart rate up and your body moving. Now, if we have a hard time jumping, maybe a little too much movement for us, what I want you to do is just some side steps. Nice and low, nice and low. Core still engaged the entire time, okay? Side step here. All right. Number two, what we're gonna do, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice today. I think it, uh, I climb in my garage, so the door was up a minute ago, I had to close it. All the pollen, I could see it just pouring off my trees. Uh-uh, I can't deal with that. Nope. <laughs> All right, number two will be a plank with a hip slap. So I have my mat here, I'm gonna get on the ground, I'm gonna get in a plank position, which is on my forearms. I'm going to make sure that my shoulder and my wrists are aligned, right? I'm going to push my hips up, and then drop my hips down so I have that nice neutral spine alignment and pinch my shoulder blades together. What I wanna make sure again is that my shoulders are over my elbows. So I'm gonna rock backwards slightly, core is engaged, okay? From this position, hip slap, right here. Alternating hip slap. Literally taking your hand, slapping the hip, back down. What I don't wanna see is you rocking side to side. This is where the core work comes into play, right? Slapping the hip on the side, okay? All right. Now, if we are, again, that might be too hard, I want you to just go ahead and do it from your knees, like so. Still try and get that slap in if you can, and if you have to open your hips a little bit, that's okay. However, you are seeing that my feet are staying on the ground. If my feet are up, I'm putting a lot more pressure right here in my low back, which is what we do not want. If getting on the ground is still too hard, I have a chair here for a demo. I'm going to 
place my hands, and that's a little too far for you guys to see here. Let me scoot it up. There we go. See if that's better. I'm going to place my hands here on my chair like so, right? And I'm going to slap here on my hips. Again, plank position, nice neutral spine, rotated pelvis here. And I am getting support from the chair. All right. Number three, we will be doing frog jump push-ups. So we will be getting on the ground like so. Again, push-up position, making sure my shoulders and my wrists are aligned, strong core. I'm gonna push my hips up, bring them down, tuck my tailbone, squeeze my shoulder blades together. Oh, got out of view for you guys. There we go. Now my chair's in my way. All right, we're gonna do a push-up with a frog jump. Okay, and back again. Okay, keeping that core nice and strong and making sure that you're having nice controlled movements all the way through. If the push-up is too much, limit your range of motion. You don't have to go all the way down. If you start feeling it in your back, limit your range. Don't go so deep. Now, if that is a little too difficult, again with the ground, we can do it from the knees and no jumping, right? So again, like so, feet on the ground, nice flat neutral spine. If you notice how my hips are not up like this, I'm not, I'm not doing a tabletop here, right? Pushing my hips down so my core is engaged. Just the push-up, okay? Again, getting on the ground is too difficult. Get your chair. You're gonna be just doing push-ups from your chair, okay? Like so, nice and easy. Right? Still, remaining that neutral spine as much as possible. Number four, mountain climbers. Again, we're going to get down. We're going to do that neutral spinal alignment here. Okay? Making sure I'm not arching my back, but I'm also not down here. Look at my hips. Nice neutral spine. Tuck my shoulder blades. And alternate my feet like so. Now, obviously, I'm going to want to do it quick, so I'm going to get my feet just going quick, 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 fast, okay? If that's too hard, again, get your chair, do it right from the chair, like so. And just alternate the feet and move them as quick as we can, okay? Again, all in the core. You're going to really feel it in the core. So if you're feeling it there, you're doing a good job. All right, number five. We're going to be just doing touchdown squats. Feet a little wider than hip distance apart. I'm going to rotate my tailbone strong core, keep my arms down like so. I'm going to be reaching through my legs to my heels as I squat. So here, squeeze at the top, squeeze glutes at the top. Push back, here, okay? Now what I want you to focus on when I'm pushing myself back, let me turn sideways, is that my tailbone is tucked, my core is strong, I'm going to push my hips back, because then when I go into, into my squat, you notice how my knees are not here. My weight is not here or here. It's back here, right? That's where we, how we want to load properly. So pushing the hips back and reaching back here creates that nice alignment, and you will feel that, those muscles flexing. Of course, you'll feel it in your quads too, but we want to activate the back side. Now, if that's too difficult, or too, you know, again, the ground movement, we have a chair. I want you to just do body weight squats from the chair. Pretend I'm my chair right here, right? Tap, squeeze. Tap, squeeze. Tap your booty on that chair. As soon as you tap, no resting. As soon as you tap, shoot on up and squeeze the boots at the top. Now, let me see. Six, we're going to be doing a dead bug, okay? So I'm, I'm sure most of you, at least if you've worked with us, you're pretty familiar with how dead bugs go, okay? So that being said, get on the ground, and you're literally gonna be right like this, dead like so. Your arms are gonna be up at a 45, okay? And as one leg goes out, the other, you're gonna alternate. My right arm goes back, my left leg goes out, like so, okay? And what, oh, chair. What makes this so hard is that it's all core work. It's your stabilizing muscles in those core, right? Right here. And up. Now, if you want to make it a little more complicated, a little more challenging, get your little towel here, right? Pull the towel apart. We're just going to alternate legs. So you're holding your core. Nothing else can move, right? It's all in the core. Your legs are going down. Don't let them touch the ground and rest at the bottom. Get 
Get them as low as you can, flexing the core the entire time. Now, if that is too much, again, if the ground is too much work, I want you to do a seated dead bug. So you're gonna sit in your chair. Here, here I am sitting in my chair. The chair's out of view. We're just gonna alternate crunch here and switch. Okay? Sitting in your chair and alternating here. All right. Number seven, our last exercise of the sequence before we just keep doing it two times through, right? Is gonna be a, a high knees, okay? So again, we're going to really get our knees up as high as we can. This is explosive. We wanna get our heart rates up. Now, those of you who are on the MyZone heart rate monitors, I'm competing against you. Surprise, surprise, if you didn't know that, Matt and I are gonna be competing. Well, I'm wearing my own monitor right now. Challenge. So, you're going to be really getting those knees up, getting those feet high, okay? Again, if explosive jumping, if that's too much, I want you to just march in place here. But keep moving. I want you to get that heart rate up, right? Up and down, up and down. Okay. So that's gonna be our circuit that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do it, like I said, two times through. It's gonna repeat two times through. Let me see. Hi, Susan. Hi, Matt. Thanks, guys. All right. So before we get going, we're gonna go ahead and go into our warm-ups. Um, we have five exercises that we are gonna use for our warm-ups. Matt and I are doing the same warm-up, so it will be the same for you every time they're at home, okay? I'm losing my breath. Woo! Already. It's a good sign. All right, the first one we're gonna be doing is an overhead body weight squat. Put my hands up high like so. Push my hips back, right, tuck my tailbone. Up in here, 10 times each. Ready at home? Let's get going, here we go. Body weight squat, begin. We got 10. My knee's popping. Good. All right. Nice job. Then we're going to do a high hip step over. Um, those of you at home who maybe don't have the greatest balance, hang on to something, the wall, a chair, whatever it may be. Ooh, excuse me. We're going to take my, your hip in and out like so. Okay, we're going to do 10 here, each side. Here we go. Begin. Halfway done. Get those hips really open and moving. There we go. Last one. Good. Switch. Here we go. I hope y'all aren't going too stir crazy there at home, not being able to go anywhere, see any friends, family. Go, a couple more. There we go. Good. All right. From there, remember the uh, the flamingo pole, right? So you again, hang on to something if the balance isn't that great. We're gonna grab our leg. We're gonna pull it into our glutes. We're going to hinge forward slightly to really get that pull right here in the quad. We're gonna do about 10 to 15 seconds per leg. But here we go. Can you guys hear my music? I want no copyright stuff, right? <laughs> and remember, if you're not watching this live, you can always watch it later. Okay, switch legs. Here we go. Another great way to get your hand off and starting to learn how to, you know, work on that balance. Really sitting up tall and then hinging slightly. Squeezing in that belly button, that core will really stabilize your entire body, right? Hold that belly button nice and tall, slight hinge. Flex that leg so you really get that pull right here in the quad. All right. We're gonna do a super 
supine wall slide. So basically what I'm going to be doing is doing a T-post with my arms. I'm going to be laying on the ground. Again, if the ground is too much, what I want you to do, put the arms up, T-post, right? Push them back as far as you can because we're really trying to get the, the upper back, the scapula to start moving and engaging. So here we're going to go up, keeping our shoulders back as much as we can and down, okay? Otherwise, go ahead and get down on the ground. We're going to do it from the ground. And we're going to do 10 here. Okay, here we go, begin. I just want you to do, stand back to make sure you can see me, little, little side hops, right? Together, little ones, okay? Otherwise, I want you to take one leg and you're going to literally hop side to side, ten times each leg. Here we go. Lift up and begin. Good. Switch legs. And begin. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get my timer set up. Make sure you guys have your water close by. Like I said, you will have a couple seconds rest in between each exercise, okay? Let me get everything set up and we will begin. seconds rest. I've already got my heart rate up. All right. Next we're going to do, get down on that ground. Do that plank with the hip flap or from your chair. Here we go. Begin. Don't rock those hips. Strong core. 15 seconds. Done. Woo! All right, after that, we're doing the frog jumps. The frog, uh, I'm sorry, the push up with the frog hops. Again, do it from your knees or do it elevated from the chair. Begin. Alright. After that, we're going to do mountain. 
climbers. From the ground, from the chair. Here we go. Begin. Shoulders over your elbows or over your wrists, right? Strong core. Almost done. Done. We're gonna do a dead bug. Dead bug, if you wanna make it harder, get your tail, alternate the legs from the ground. Otherwise, do it from your chair. Here we go, begin. Strong core, strong core the whole time. Fight against the urge to rest your leg on the bottom. Keep going. Core work, core work. Burn off all those bad snacks we've been having in quarantine, right? Stay down, 
Or stay where we're going to do the frog jump with the push up. Or push up with the frog jump. There you go. Here we go. Begin. I got to get my music going. It's way too quiet. What happened? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Technical difficulties. Keep going. There we go. Five more seconds. Your last time you did your push up. All right, done. All right. Stay so right out. We're going to be doing mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Shoulders above your wrists, begin. Alternate. Strong core. Make sure booty's not up in the air, not down, right? Don't put it in those knees. Put it in the glutes. You can do it. Almost done, almost done. Last one. Done. All right. From there, dead bug. Keep going. We're almost done with this uh, circuit and then we're gonna do it. Just one, just one. We got it, keep going. Remember not to see. All right, you got it, John. Good job getting out.
There you go. Take a second. I'll give you about a 20 second break. Okay? I know you're feeling, if I'm feeling tired, you're feeling tired. Take a quick second. How are we doing over here? We're doing good. You guys all doing good? You see my sweat? I'm sweaty. I hope you are. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, my timer got all messed up. Get ready, here we go. Quick with hip slap. Here we go. And begin. Strong core, strong core. Done. All right. Frog jumps. You got, got this? Here we go. Push up frog. Two rounds, otherwise, our last third. All right, go, mountain climbers. My husband just brought bacon out here. That's all I can smell. Just bacon. Rude. Keep going. Done. Whew. I'm sweaty. Touchdown squats. I'm using my dead bug towel. Okay, here we go. Push the hips back. Reach. Squeeze, squeeze the glutes. Nothing's moving but those hips. I'm not reaching with my arms. Arms are back. Keep going. Slow your heart rate down. This is the time. And last one, done! Dead bug. All right, five seconds, get positioned. Begin. Whoop, there's your phone down there. Strong core, strong core, right? Resist the full extension with your core. Strong core. Pull your rod if you have one. Core is working overtime. Keep going, keep going. Done. Woo. Your heart rate should come down, especially if you're wearing your monitor, you would know. You know what I'm talking about, okay? High knees, last one, last one. Go! Up, up. 
You got it, you got it, go, go, go. Get those knees up or march in place. Ten seconds, keep going. Almost done. Done! Woo! Let me turn my music off. Get your water. How you guys feel? I feel tired. It's a good thing my hair's a mess. It's a good sign, guys. Good sign. All right. <sighs> With that being said, I wanted to thank you so much for joining me for day one of your Rona challenge. I hope everyone keeps healthy, safe, and sane. Tune in tomorrow, 9 a.m. for Matt. I'll be back Wednesday. See ya.